governor of the state of West Virginia, guys. Bill, you sit over here. Huh? Go around the other side. I'll get over there in a minute. Just sit down there a minute. Y'all sit, please. Come on. Sit down there. I'm, I'm going to sit here. I know y'all. I'm, going I'm sitting right here. And I just, I just want to say a couple things because I know right, you, you don't talk. want me wasting. No, talk. These are the these are the fellows and ladies that help make this thing happen with the, yeah. you know, 88 to one or 88 to 10 uh, sure. passage and all that stuff. And the whole idea is to save their jobs. And everybody's on you. The governor said he wanted to come amongst a bunch of friends today because yep. everybody's on him about these coal bills. Y'all know how important that is uh, yep. to what you do every day. You keep the lights on, you make it happen, and this whole thing's about thermal coal. He's going to sign all three bills today, uh, which is really, really critical to the future of our industry because the one gives you a uh, rebate and lets you invest money in the expansion of mines, and the other one straightens out a bunch of old laws and takes care of people that try to go into these abandoned mines. So you are amongst a bunch of friends. Uh, you introduce Ryan, and everybody in the room knows mm -hmm. Ryan, and you, you do as well. Ryan Murray's Vice President of Operations. And, uh, but we appreciate you so much coming up here because I know it's a busy day for you. Said they got 40 bills left for you to fool with. Well, yeah, I, know. So, uh, I know. But that's okay. But, uh, yeah. We appreciate yeah. it. Now come over here and sit down. Come I'll on. Be, I'll come over there, man. <laughs> just don't get in a hurry. Well, let me tell you this first and foremost. Uh, you did me a big favor getting me out of that crazy place in Charleston, getting me up here. But uh, no, I, I tell you guys and ladies, uh, my family's been in the coal business forever. And I've been in this kind of setting more times than not. Most of the time, surely not in a coat and tie. But, uh, but you've never had a governor in, in the universe that could understand coal mining and understand the importance of you like I hope that you already know that I do. And at the end of the day, when it really boils right down to it, people so often they diminish in their minds the value of you. I mean, that's just all there is to it. Now, you hear people all the time talk about, and a lot of times politicians are going to blow smoke at you and everything else. And saying, I'm not a politician, guys. I never have been. You know, uh, this is, this may be difficult for you to believe, but, uh, the one thing I won't do is I'll, I'll absolutely always just tell you nothing but the truth. I know the operation you have here is phenomenal, and that's great. Would it be difficult for you to believe that really and truly my grandparents never had indoor plumbing? And my granddads, both my granddads, worked in the mines their whole life. So did my dad. You know, my dad you know, worked in the mines, he was a captain in the Air Force, and then he came out of the war, and then he started operations and everything, so on and so on. Now, we don't mind, in my family, we don't mind one pound of thermal coal today. So there's nobody out there that can cast a stone at me and say, oh, yeah, Justice, you know, you're benefiting yourself. Well, that's garbage. That's absolute garbage. But the thing that I have in my life is just this. And I mean this, you know, first of all, I thank the good Lord for everything always. And I am very, very proud of that. And then my family, and then employees, and then kids, because, and that's the play I run over and over and over. Good Lord first, family next, our employees next, and then kids. And that's what I do over and over and over. But you know something? In my life, from a business standpoint, a financial standpoint, from everything that I know about principles of life and everything, I owe it all to coal. Every bit of it. Everything in my life I owe to coal. 
I can't tell you how important it is for us to have one of your jobs, one of your jobs, and how much it multiplies into so much goodness for this state, it's unbelievable. Now, it's a lot different in some other industries, whether it be gas or whatever it may, whatever it may be, but one of your jobs is so meaningful. So from that standpoint, this day I'm really proud of, really, really proud of, because this is our moment. This is our moment to put our stake in the ground and say, by God, we're not going to go quietly into the darkness. We're not going to lay ourselves down and forget you. At the end of the day, you know, we want to grow our mining jobs. You know, when I came into being, I told this wonderful guy that my dad and my family's known forever and a day, you know, it's, we go back a long time, do we not, my friend? We do, yeah, and, uh, a long way. And I love him, I love him with all my soul. You know, many of you, I'm sure, know Mr. Murr. And he's not with us right here today, but I know he'd like to be here. And, and I've gotten to know him just from the standpoint of when I became governor. You know, but here's the thing. And we hit it off right from the beginning. And we hit it off because of one thing. And he said, and I believe him with all my soul, he said he loves his coal miners. He loves them. You know, well, I do too. I really do too. And I think you are, you're it. You're the real deal. I would tell you every day, to be as safe as you can possibly be and get home to your families. We all know, we all know that this job is not something that's just, you know, sitting in a bed of roses all day long. It's tough, it's tough. And there's things that can happen and they're dangerous. So be safe. Hopefully we're gonna sign something, you know, that's gonna aid in the safety in some ways. We're going to sign something here that's going to entice people to invest more to where we have not only your room, but we have other rooms. You see, again, when I walk in the door, we're mining in the low 70 million. Now, today, we're mining above 100 million tons in West Virginia. At one time, and this beautiful guy sent me the thing, I think that at one time we mined 181 million tons. Is that correct? We did. Yes, in 1997, I think that's right that's too. Right. That'd be right. So we got a big, still we still got a big upside in front of us. We want to grow. You got a president that is, believe it or not, a really really good friend of mine. And my God, a living, you know, the Russians and everybody hacked at him, or not the Russians, but the media and everybody hacked at him from now till the cows come home. And to be perfectly honest, they do a lot at me the same way. You know, uh, we do have a lot in common. You know, we're both business guys. We both didn't need the job. We both came along to try to help. You know, we're, we're different in that, in that we're going to make the right decisions for the people. We're not going to make what's a political decision. We're going to make the right decisions. Believe it or not, our sons, our firstborn sons, we're both born on January 1st. It's amazing. I've been with his kids over and over. I've been way up in hoo hoo hollow like you can't imagine with son Eric and the tire and ran over a rock and blew out the tire in the middle of the woods in the middle of summer at 90,000 degrees. And Eric is underneath my suburban changing the tire. I'm telling you, they're good people and they've taken a bunch of crap. That's all there is to it. And I'm tickled to death that hey, at least a level of his crap is gone. Now, I'm gonna get it signed. These bills have held you up enough, and uh, I want to let Ryan Murray. And let me say to to the ladies and, and gentlemen here how much we appreciate you all throwing this together so quickly. And they are they're the, they're the folks that came to Charleston and truly helped us during the legislative session. 
but Ryan is the, is the vice president of operations. And, Let uh, Ryan and talk. I, I, he doesn't want to talk much, but I just want him to say something because oh, he's yeah. the host and uh, and he's the guy in charge. So. Well, I, I don't want to hold you up, but I do want to You're not going to ever hold me up. On behalf of all these guys, we appreciate your dedication and commitment to uh, these jobs and to the state of West Virginia. Thank you very much. <laughs> This has always been easy. I mean, really and truly. This is a long ways from all the money in the world. But at the end of the day, it may very well be the last stick that really and truly preserves your jobs. You know, what would we do without you? I mean, really and truly, what would we do without you? I mean, for crying out loud, what would this state begin to do without you? We couldn't do anything. We couldn't fix the roads or we couldn't do anything in education. We could not do anything without you. So we've got to make sure that these opportunities are here for you and they're here for years and decades to come. I'm signing. I'm signing. Get in this chair. You get out of my way. There you go. Come on. I'm getting in the chair where I can get right down here with you. Here, now. here come on, guys. Get up here and come around. Yeah, I think, I think y'all ought to get here, here too. Yeah. Come on, guys. Come on. Like I'm, gonna, here, I'm right. moving this out. Here. <laughs> now, how about, how about if we sign, we'll sign these in gold, these in blue. We'll give y'all these pins. And you've got to make the decision, gold or blue, over here. Okay? Okay, guys. Well, this is the first one. Okay, I'm going to sign these real quick. Billy, you may have thought this day wasn't going to happen, huh? Well, we were, we were always wondering, but we knew we had, we had everything lined up pretty good. But I tell you what, you couldn't do it without the folks in this room now. There, there's no, no way in the world. We couldn't do it without you either, Governor. But, uh, it wouldn't have happened. And Ben Queen's here, too. Where's Ben? Yeah, where's Ben? Ben's here. Ben was somewhere, but Ben probably. was a big somewhere. player as well. Here, here he, he's back here in the back. It's... Uh, he was a huge help. He's a, for those of you who live in Harrison County, you need to remember that name because he needs to keep coming to Charleston. Ben, is this your new campaign manager? <laughs> <laughs> to be determined, it sounds like. Okay. Be for him or against him, whichever helps him most. <laughs> uh, this is the one we've talked about primarily today. This is our thermal bill right here. This is our basic, you know, our incentive bill. So here we go. Okay, guys, be ready here. Oh, that's you. All right, now you just hold on to that one, okay? All right. I'm going to sign these real quick here. Ben, get up here and let me give you one of these. And Billy, you got to stand here and hold one of them too. All right, I'll do that. I'll do that. We'll hold one. Yeah. You hold this one. You look good in this one. We're going to have three up here. We'll get them all messed up now. We'll Where'd Ben go? Ben, court. get up here. Where's Ben? Here, give him a. Right here, Thank you, sir. Okay. You can give all these, y'all, y'all here, y'all just roll these out, okay, and, and uh, y'all hold these. These are, this is big stuff. Give me, give me a couple of them. Okay, y'all. Give me, give me, give me. I'm not scared to touch anything, man. I'm not Okay. There you go. Okay. And this is our mine safety bill, right? Yes. 
Yeah, Cold Jobs and Safety Act. Cold Jobs and Safety Act. We're going with blue or we're going with gold? Going gold. Go with gold. I like it. I like it. Okay. I like the go with gold idea. This one's important too, guys. Okay. This is yours. Okay, we've got somebody else behind me. Or I'll give you Bill before you start hollering at me again. There we go. All right, guys. I'm Wait done. Wait a minute. We got to get Nate. Come on up here now. I'm not going to let you sit down back in the Presbyterian <laughs> seats, buddy. Here, let me have that one. He's got it. You're putting him in the Presbyterian seat. Well, he's <laughs> back here. Yeah, that's where he was. Get him up here where he belongs. Huh? All right, now, guys. I'm going to divide this this way. I'm going to divide this over here and over here, and y'all take the pins, and they're y'alls. And this is my special pin. Here, there's two pins, too. you got to have the gold pin. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank Governor, thanks so much. Thank, you, uh, thank all of you, and I mean it from the bottom of my heart. You know, it's, it's a great day for coal, great day for West Virginia, great day for our coal miners. And so I can't be happy. Thank you. God bless you. Oh. Turn these back in, because hell, they'll build illegal. Don't take them with you now. <laughs> right. Thank you, sir. Thank get them you, sorted sir. out. Thank you all so much. Thank you. Appreciate you. Appreciate, appreciate, appreciate you, you hanging sir. around, waiting on me. Yeah. Thank, you. Thank you, sir. Thank you, guys. Thank you.